Hey there, it's Father Chris Klukas from Good Samaritan Anglican Church in Middleburg, Florida. And I'm here to answer the question today, what is an Anglican? For me, and for each one of you, this is good news. Maybe you've recently started attending an Anglican church. Maybe you know someone who's attending an Anglican church. What is an Anglican? Well, you could answer that question in a number of different ways, and we will. In some other videos, we'll look at Anglican church history. In another video, we'll look at the worldwide Anglican communion or the Anglican family of churches. But today, I want to just talk about what is an Anglican church and what is an Anglican Christian. So as Anglicans, first of all, we are Christians. We are Christians from the Reformed tradition and as well as from the Catholic tradition. I was in the grocery store recently and someone uh, asked me what kind of church an Anglican church was. They knew I was an Anglican priest. They saw me wearing this collar. I said, what is an Anglican? And I said, well, basically, if you take a Baptist, a Presbyterian, and a Roman Catholic, and you stick them into a blender and turn it on and mix it all up, that's kind of what we are as Anglicans. What does that mean? In the theological statement of the Anglican Church in North America, which is the parent denomination for Good Samaritan, our church, it says this. To be an Anglican, then, is not to embrace a distinct version of Christianity, but a distinct way of being a mere Christian. At the same time, evangelical, apostolic, Catholic, reformed, and spirit-filled. When you boil those down, what you get are what we call the, the three streams of Anglicanism or evangelical, Catholic, and charismatic. These are all parts that we identify often with other traditions. When you think of Catholic, you might think of Orthodox churches or Roman Catholic churches. When you think of evangelical, you might think of some of those big Baptist churches. And when you think of charismatic or Pentecostal, you get a, a whole other picture in your head. Anglicanism has all of those elements all together. Sometimes they're stronger in one congregation or in one individual. Sometimes they're weaker. But Anglicanism at its best is a blend of all of these things. Because of this unique blend of these different elements, you may already know some wonderful Anglican theologians. People like C.S. Lewis and John Stott and J.I. Packer and N.T. Wright. All of these are Anglicans. All of these have a breadth of, of readership across the whole of the Christian tradition. Now, you might think that's, you know, wishy-washy or indistinct. Anglicanism does have a distinct theological heritage that comes down to us and that's active and vibrant today. But it does encompass all of those things. One of my favorite Anglican theologians, who was the Archbishop of Canterbury, or sort of the, the head Anglican um, many years ago, his name was Michael Ramsey. And he wrote in a book called The Gospel and the Catholic Church and said, For while the Anglican Church is vindicated by its place in history with a strikingly balanced witness to the gospel and church and sound learning, its greater vindication lies in its pointing through its own history to something of which it is a fragment. Its credentials are its incompleteness. With the tension and the travail in its soul, it is clumsy and untidy. It baffles neatness and logic, for it is sent not to commend itself as the best type of Christianity, but by its very brokenness to point to the universal church wherein all have died. Michael Ramsey's theology was very much an ecumenical theology. He saw each of the many denominations that are a part of the Christian church worldwide as mere fragments of the whole, and that the whole church is made up of all of us, all of us as we stand around the throne of God and praise him together as we see beautifully depicted in the book of Revelation. And so our charism as Anglicans is to hold some of these distinct elements together. We are biblical Christians, which is what we mean by being evangelical. We believe strongly in the word of God and in the importance and necessity of personal conversion. As Catholic traditions, we embrace the tradition of the church and recognize that this isn't the only generation that has ever followed Christ, but that we have a long heritage and tradition that goes back into the earliest centuries of the church. 
And we have all of these people that we can draw on their thinking and their writing and their own readings of the scriptures throughout all the generations and look to them for wisdom and guidance in how to move forward. It's also the Catholic heritage from which we get our worship tradition, liturgical worship, worship ordered by a book of common prayer, which is a key piece of Anglican spirituality in the way we order our common life of worship together. And then finally, charismatic or Pentecostal or spirit-filled, which simply means that we look to the Holy Spirit as our source of inspiration, direction, guidance, and power. We see the Holy Spirit as living and active in the church today, empowering each believer with spiritual gifts to contribute to the whole as the body of Christ, and using those gifts, coordinating those gifts, to accomplish the mission that God has given us as Christians and as churches. So Anglicans are evangelical, they're Catholic, and they're spirit-filled or charismatic. We hold all those things together. It's a wonderful mix. It's a wonderful blend. And so if you've ever been to a Baptist church, we're kind of like that. If you've ever been to a Catholic church, we're kind of like that too. If you've ever been to an Orthodox church, we've got some of that. And that's really true. We do have our own uniqueness, our own expressions of what it means to be a mere Christian. But we also... Uh, embrace all of these different things. We hold them all together in a beautiful blend, a beautiful mixture that is indeed a, a unique way of being a mere Christian. So as Archbishop Robert Duncan said, Anglicanism isn't the only way to follow Christ, but it is a reliable way of being a Christian. If you've never been to an Anglican church, go visit one. We'd love to see you there. God bless you. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please let me know by clicking the like button or by leaving a comment below. If you haven't already, please push the subscribe button for more videos on faith, following Jesus, and the Anglican way. See you next time.